Transylvania and another part it was Valencia. Bram Stoker popsal ten uh, Drákulu vrat podle toho branu. It's not open for everybody, only for uh, special guests. Grand Castle has become famous as the castle of the king of all vampires, the powerful Count Dracula. Who has read the famous novel recognizes Bran immediately. High rack, pointed towers, mysterious atmosphere. Bran is one of the most famous cities in the world of Romansko. He looks so beautifully dramatic and romantic, placed in a beautiful country. Although a lot of tourists are in the castle during the day, there are several mysterious places here. A secret passage is one of them. Here it was a secret passage in the Middle Age. Of course, the door and the steps are set up after they discovered a secret passage. And now we'll climb up to the third floor. The history of the Brand Castle dates back to the beginning of the 13th century when the German knights built a fortress, but it was destroyed by the Mongols. Brand, as we know it today, was founded in the 14th century. Prameny se dochovali, že vlastně ho nechali postavit brašovští měštané jako strážní hrad té hlavní obchodní cesty, která vede pod ním. We are in Transylvania and another part it was Valencia. Here it was the most important commercial road between two principalities. Yeah, you can see it. You can see that. And the castle it was built here on this rock because uh, here it's the narrowest passage between Transylvania and Valencia. Bran has never been at Dracula's residence. Prince Dracula has stepped up forcefully against the German merchants from Brasov. Aspoň v době, kdy my jsme tam byli, se říkalo, že se tam jenom párkrát zastavil při své cestě na přespání. Některé novodobější prameny tvrdí, že tam jako vůbec nebyl. So this is the loggia, the balcony of the music room. From here you can see the interior courtyard. Anyway, we are going down over there. And in front of us it's the round tower of the of the castle. Probably it's the oldest tower of the fortress. And look to the right side, it's the main tower of the castle, was built 600 years ago for surrounding the area. It has been one of the many castles in Romania for centuries. The most important period of the castle came after 1920. Here it was the Queen's bedroom, Maria's bedroom, yes? She was the wife of the second king of Romania, Ferdinand. Bran became one of the official royal residences. King Ferdinand I was seated here with the Queen Mary from Edinburgh. She was from, actually, she wasn't from Romania, unfortunately. She was half English, half Russian. She was from the famous family Saxa Coburgota. The present form of the castle dates from the time of its royal residence. Here it was the music room of the Queen Marie. But in the Middle Ages it was uh, an old attic of the fortress. But after 1920s, of course, at the request of the Queen Maria, became this beautiful room, the music room, together the royal library. Now it was the favorite room of the Queen Maria. Although the kings have usually residence in the capital city, Queen Mary describes in her memories how she loved this place. This is the second floor of the castle, King Ferdinand's apartment. I told you he was the second king of Romania, his husband. And here it was the king's bedroom. Luckily, the administration of a castle does not take me as a regular tourist who runs through the castle without a deeper interest in it. And that's why I can share a small gift with you. Take care, please. Don't touch anything. I mean the windows, anything, okay? Take care, please. So only one person can go inside? Yes, yes, yes. It's very narrow. As one of a few, I have the opportunity to look at the very top of the castle's main tower. Right here, I realize that the similarity of a Bran with the vampire fortress is certainly not accidental. Bram Stoker popsal ten uh, Drákulu vrat podle toho Branu. 
Takže když tam někdo přijel, tak hned podle té knihy samozřejmě poznal ten charakter toho hradu. On je, on je, on je velice typický, velice zvláštní. Malé, malé nádvoříčko se samými vlastně teráskami, studna. Je to, je to podzemní chodba, je to velice uh, estetické místo. If you manage to stay away from the crowd for a while, Bran really has a mysterious atmosphere. And although Dracula's story and true history are different, visitors are interested in both. Half and half, you know, the real history about the Dracula story. Of course, we have some tourists, they believe in vampires and Dracula story. But anyway, he is everywhere, I mean Dracula, behind the doors, inside the boxes, so take care. And I'm very happy to take care and to be allowed to visit the castle at night. The idea that I can see Dracula's shadow climbing the wall between windows is tempting very much and it all comes together with a mystical theater performance. Thank you.